Welcome to the Farm Stand Kitchen. My name is Rebecca. We're having you come in today because we're going to be making a loaded mashed potato bake. Dave and I are entertaining about 25 people this weekend. This is on my menu, so I thought, might as well have you guys come in and we'll just make up this potato dish. Make it we're going to make it together. Okay, now this recipe is in the Farm Stand Collection Cookbook. Um, it's on page 59 loaded mashed potatoes. Everybody loves these in our family and we're going to be making them. So let's go over our ingredients and then we'll just go ahead and put these together. So I'll just read and Dave can pan and we'll do this together. So what I have in the big bowl here is four pounds of potatoes. I used a Yukon Gold today. That's why they're so yellow. Uh, Yukon Gold, four pounds, peel them, cube them, Dave cubed them. Thanks you, thank you, Dave. Sure. <laughs> Dave is such a big help in the kitchen. And then you just want to boil them up till they're tender, just fork tender. Drain them, put them in a big bowl like this, and then you're good to go. Four pounds of boiled potatoes. All right, up here in front, we have one half cup of French onion chip dip, like you dip chips in. So this is French onion chip dip. We have a quarter cup of cubed butter a quarter cup of milk. On our spice plate, we have one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of a chicken bouillon, a granulated chicken bouillon is the powder. And then we have a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And back here in the back, we have our one and a half cups of grated cheddar cheese. We have 12 slices of bacon that's been fried and chopped. We have a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. We have a few green onions for the top. So that's what we're gonna put in here. Doesn't that sound delicious? Okay, well, let's just proceed and then uh, we'll continue on here. All right, I'm just gonna put a hand mixer in here and we're just going to just break these up a little. We're not gonna thoroughly mash them out. Okay, that's good enough. You just wanna just break them up is what you wanna do. All right, let's just start adding. Let's add our chip dip here. This is our French onion chip dip. I also put this French onion dip in our potato casserole. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I think some people down south call those funeral potatoes. Cause you know, you always take them to funerals. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we put that in there too. All right, let's get our butter in there and I'm gonna stir that around just a little cause these potatoes are hot. So that butter will just melt right in there. So let's just do that. Get it down there with those hot potatoes. All right, let's add our milk. Let's put our spices. all of the Parmesan cheese. I am using a grated. You could also use the shaker cheese. It would be perfectly fine. I've done it like that before. We're going to put half of this bacon. I'm gonna save some for the top. And we're gonna add half of this cheese. We also want some of that for the top. One cup you put in here. And then we'll save our green onions. All this will be for our top. Let me get my sturdier spoon here and we'll stir this up. These go together so quickly. They have lots of flavor. I just don't know anybody who doesn't like these. Um, everybody likes them in our family. So you just give them a good stir, get your cheese all mixed in there. And it's okay that you have these chunks of potato in there. That's exactly what you want. And that's what it looks like. And, oh, that smells so good. All right, this is a nine by 13 pan. You want to preheat your oven to 350. And then you want to transfer this to a nine by 13 pan. And you can spray your pan. Um, this one I don't need to do that with, but if you're using a glass or a metal, go ahead and spray your pan with some nonstick spray. All right, let's 
just go ahead and smooth this out. We have made a lot of these before. Uh, we did a little catering to where our son works and we made, I think 40 pounds, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we made 40 pounds of these loaded mashed potatoes. And boy, it was, uh, they really liked it. Okay guys, so what you need to do here now is go ahead and pop this into the oven for right about 25 minutes on 350. And um, then bring them out after 25 minutes and then you just wanna to top with the rest of your cheese. And you can use a sharp cheddar, a mild cheddar, whatever you guys like. They even have some good blends too that's got the Gouda. I like to use that too. Gouda is so good with potatoes. I like that one too. So you just put the rest of the cheese on there and go ahead and sprinkle your bacon. And then you would just pop this back in the oven and I'll tell you the way I do it. I just turn my oven off once I take them out after they've been in there for 25 minutes. I just turn the oven off, do this part, and just stick them in there. And this cheese will just melt beautifully, and then uh, you're good to go. Then you would just sprinkle them with your um, green onion. And we have some over here, so let's just bring them over. I made just a half a batch to show you guys the completed. Look at that. So that's what it looks like once that cheese melts and your bacon even will crisp up a little bit more. Then you just throw on a little green, a little pop of green, and you just serve them up. And I tell you what, you'll have an empty dish. They'll eat them all up oh, yeah. <laughs> every single time. All right, well, I'm just gonna taste some. Look at that, so, they're so nice and creamy. Look at that. Cheesy, creamy potatoes with bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? Mmm, that is so good. Our guests are gonna love this, Dave. So am I. <laughs> so are you. I know you are. You're my potato guy. You love that. All right. Okay. So this is in the Farmstand Collection Cookbook. If you'd like to grab a copy of this book, you can head over to our website at thefarmstandkitchen.com. That's all one word, lowercase. Go over there, see what we got, and have a great weekend.